Hello and welcome grade 12s to the task video for the series internal resistance in electric circuits. Remember to pause the video after each question so that you can draw the circuit diagram and work out the answers. A battery tester measures the current supplied when the battery is connected to a resistor of 100 ohm. If the current is less than 50 milliamperes, the battery is flat, it needs to be replaced. Calculate the maximum internal resistance of a 6-volt battery that will pass the test. A battery with an internal resistance R is connected to three resistors M, N and Y. The resistance of N is 2 ohm and the reading on voltmeter V is 14 volts. The reading on ammeter A1 is 2 amperes and the reading on ammeter A2 is 1 ampere. Ignore the resistance of the ammeters and the connecting wires. State Ohm's law in words. How does the resistance of M compare with that of N? Explain how you arrived at the answer. If the EMF of the battery is 17 volts, calculate the internal resistance of the battery. Calculate the potential difference across resistor N. Calculate the resistance of Y. Ignore the resistance of the connecting wires, ammeter, and switch. The voltmeters have a very high resistance and the battery has significant internal resistance. When the switch S is open, the voltmeter V1 reads 9 volts. When the switch is closed, the ammeter reads 600 milliamperes. The switch S is now closed. Calculate the total resistance in the external circuit. Calculate the internal resistance of the battery. Calculate the reading on the voltmeter V1. Explain why the voltmeter reading changes when the switch is closed. A battery of EMF E and internal resistance R of 25 ohms is connected to this arrangement of resistors. The resistances of voltmeters V1 and V2 are so high that they do not affect the current in the circuit. Explain what is meant by the EMF of a battery. If the current in the 100 ohm resistor is 9 amperes, calculate the reading on voltmeter V1. Calculate the reading on voltmeter V2. Calculate the EMF of the battery. Thank you for joining us for this series. If you had any problems with these questions, please watch the other videos in the Internal Resistance in Electric Circuit series for more help or go to our website. You can also find the answers to these questions in the series guide. Goodbye.